YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking out the video. So in today's video, a buzz cut and a medium skin fade. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and take number three all over on top, making sure to get this as complete as possible and all even all the way around. You can use your comb and brush the hair, getting it laying off of the head, but remember to get this as even as possible, making sure to go against the grain all the whole time. Right, so now our next step is we're going to come in and remove that bulk. We're going to come with the number two guard open and we're going to go just under where we left off with that three. Remembering not to go too high into the top. Even though it is a buzz cut, you do want to keep a little bit of a square shape. Otherwise, it can just look a little bit bowly all the way around. Right, so our next step, we're going to come in and set in our zero line. We're going to keep this quite low. We're going to contour it to the head shape. I'm dipping it down slightly towards that C cup area. He's got a very, very strong and deep C cup, so I want to keep this as dark as possible. So when I shape up, it has a really, really nice crispy line. We're going to use our trimmers here, and I'm going to set this in and making sure not to go too high and keep this line as consistent as possible. Next step, we're going to come in and use our foil shaver. This is a vital step because this gets it really formed at the bottom and it's a great way to add another transition to your blades. Our next step here, we're going to come in and set in our lever open guideline. We're going to do this about an inch up to half an inch. And we're going to keep this as consistent as possible, making sure to brush away any excess hair so that you don't think that there's too much hair there when really we're just going over the same spot multiple times. Right, so our next guideline is the 1.5 guideline or the one open. So we're going to come in and go off about an inch as well in this guideline. We are using a bit of a flicking motion, so we are going to not create too many harsh lines. But again, keeping this as consistent as possible. This is very, very key. As you see, we're now closing up that lever and now we're going to remove that middle line. But while remembering this won't take out that middle line completely, you will have to follow that up with the 0.5 guard. But we'll get to that when we come to the detailing part. Next step we're going to do, we're going to come with the 1.5 wall guard, just going under where we left off that too. Right, so our next step we're here, we're going to do is remove that bottom line. We're going to start our clipper halfway closed, and then we're just going to just close it after that. We're just going to go and work it very, very slowly removing this line. This may be the hardest step out of the whole fade, so make sure to take your time and really, really focus on little areas I like to do, and then you can try to get that line completely out. If the line doesn't come out completely, don't be worried, you can just come in and use your trimmers. And whatever, just remember, whatever you put the line in with, you can take it out with. So bear that in mind, and you should find it easy. Here we are, so our next step is a 0.5 guard. This is going to really kind of bring this whole blend together, but while remembering not to go too high, because if you do go too high, you can create a light spot in this whole dark. You want a nice gradient fade. So make sure not to go too high and be wary of that. Just 
start jumping in quickly. Right now, we're just detailing this whole haircut. We had our foundation in, so now we're going over different guards, looking at the fade, looking in the mirror, looking away, and this way you can really refine your haircuts. This is a very, very, very important step, so please don't slack on this. Make sure to do this. As you can see, I'm using various different guards and just trying to get this blend as perfect as I can. Right now I'm coming in and using some scissor over comb. This is a great way to kind of refine your haircut even more. Using scissor over comb allows you to have a little bit more control of how much weight you want to remove out of those blends and get into those little dark spots that your clippers can't quite do. Right, so now we're coming in and doing a shape up. He's only getting the C cup shaped up just because his hairline grows so low, I don't want to push him back and he doesn't want that straight fringe. So we're going to come in and we're going to kind of anchor our clippers round using our middle finger on our other hand as a pivot point. And then you can see, look how sharp that shape up's coming out. These trimmers are hitting sharp, boy. So make sure not to press too hard on the skin because you may mark the skin depending on how close your clippers are set. And just go over it a few times and get that shape up as crispy as possible. Cheese and bread, look at that. That is looking blurry, that shape up is crispy. What more can you ask for? Right, so guys, we're coming on to the other side now. So we're gonna use the exact same steps on this side. I'm just gonna let you follow along and I'll jump in in a little bit. Peace. Guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll make sure to do that. And guys, if you also haven't, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below.
Right, guys. So I'm going to do some razor work here. We're just going to use the razor on his C cut. We're going to pull the skin in the opposite direction just to make sure we don't catch him in the skin in any way and tag and cut him in any way possible. Right, guys. So here's the before. Look what he came in looking like. Jesus. Here's the after. What an absolute cheese and bread. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll make sure to do that. See you soon. Peace.